Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Guys, uh, during my uh, gathering of beers in the closet and in the cellaring fridge downstairs, I came across this one that had been pushed into the back. I reviewed uh, the 2018 version that was sent to me uh, uh, by Cody and Rico uh, back in October of 2018 and now they're doing them in the little 12 ounce bottles. This is a big 22 ounce bomber wouldn't and it doesn't have any dating on it. This was before founders was dating their stuff. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this beer is not 8 to 10 years old. So I decided I uh, usually don't do beers that close back to back uh, but since it's so old we did the 2018. I didn't put that on the, uh, the review that it was a 2018 beer. Uh, probably should have uh, I didn't know I had this one downstairs uh, and I actually bought this one uh, uh, many 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 years ago like I said wouldn't be surprised if it's 8 to, to 10 years old because uh, they don't put them in the bombers anymore they put them in little 12 ounce bottles so uh, not knowing the year the ABV is written on, written on the label which is 11.9 percent and the newer ones are about 12 and 12.7 somewhere in that area uh, and a lot of times those ABVs change from year to year, batch to batch, how often they do them. Uh, so this one is 11.9%, almost a 12%. Uh, and a big beer, uh, and a big bottle. So like I said, I don't think they package them in this big bottle anymore. And uh, they do date their stuff now. So this one does not have that information. So I didn't know where to go on Untapped to, to see what year that I had, because I don't know what year it is. So. Uh, with that being said, it is what it is. I thought it was a very impressive beer when I did it back in October and the new little bottles that they're doing it in. Uh, so uh, I decided to go ahead and bring this one out, uh, final beer of the evening for me, and see if it has cellared as well as I'm hoping it has. So with that being said, uh, let's jump over to Untaps if they have any additional information. Of course, they have it as a 12.7% and 45 IBUs. I don't know what the IBUs is on this one since it's only at 11.9 percent. But uh, commercial description says curmudgeon is an old ale brewed uh, with molasses and aged in oak. It becomes better half after aging for 254 days in bourbon barrels that have more recently been aging Michigan maple syrup. As a result, curmudgeon's better half is a bit sweeter than her miserly counterpart. So uh, like I said, don't know what year it is, guys. It's, it is old. Uh, and 11.9%. That's all the information I have, and that's all the information I can give you. So, without further ado, let's get this big bottle opened up and get me a glass of it. And we're going to pour the other half, the better half, a glass of it. So, and we're going to go there right down the center on this pour on this one, guys. and see what we end up with. And there's enough for her, and there's enough for me. About a finger of head on that pour. It is a very nice mahogany color. Very clear. It is definitely a filtered beer. Very nice looking beer in the glass, don't you think? Let's get it to the nose. Very sweet smelling beer. I'm getting hints of the maltiness, a little bit of brown sugar, maybe a slight hint of some dark fruit in there. And it's kind of hard to pick up on those when it's chilled right out of the fridge, but we're going to let it warm up like we always do on all the beers. 
a very nice smelling beer. Smells like it's cellared very, very well. And I wasn't, I didn't even know I had this beer you know, until I started getting, gathering some of these bigger beers out of the refrigerator downstairs. I said, well, I just did this one. This is a lot older one though. But it has cellared very well for whatever age it is. And like I said, probably at least eight years old, if not older. Smells very nice. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Now, if you're looking for big bourbon notes, it's not there. It does have a very nice sweetness from the maple syrup. It's been in the barrels for almost a year, not quite a year. But it has sold very well. Uh, the bourbon is very subdued right now guys I will tell you that if you're looking for uh, big bourbon notes and you have this beer uh, in a big bottle like this uh, uh, you're not gonna get those big bourbon notes anymore I don't know if they had it fresh or they have subsided or and dissipated uh, over time or if they've changed something uh, as far as what they're how they're brewing it now and what type of barrels they're using, all that could have changed since this one was put in the bottle a long time ago. So, uh, still very tasty. A very pleasant beer. But the bourbon notes are gone. They are not there now. They have dissipated. I'm very surprised and disappointed that it has. If you're buying a beer and, and, and it is a bourbon barrel beer, you're paying a little more for that beer. It's a little more pricier for them to put that beer in some barrels and let it sit for a while. Uh, so, uh, still decent, but a little disappointing that the bourbon is not held up. So, with that being said, let's uh, sip on it for a while. Very nice slicing stuff on the glass. Now, alcohol seems to be very well hidden for an almost 12%, 11.9. Uh, very nice. Very nice. If you're not a big fan of bourbon, uh, you can buy one of these and put it in the fridge for about 10 years and maybe the bourbon notes are going to dissipate a little bit. But uh, they are uh, they are kind of uh, absent now. So with that being said, let's sip on it for a while and we'll come back and see where it ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while. Very nice slicing and stuff on the glass. Bourbon notes are non-existent now. Uh, whether they were there when it was fresh, uh, they were not that narrow. So, uh, usually those notes don't fade over time, uh, but if they were there then, they are not there now. Uh, and that would probably be a big reason why I would not purchase uh, an older bottle of this beer. If you did happen to see one that was, was still available, which I kind of doubt, as old as this one is, since I now put them in the 12 ounce bottles, and so the, the big 22 ounce bombers. Uh, it does not sell her well as far as bourbon notes. Everything else seems like it has sell her very well. It's got a nice sweetness from the maple syrup. Uh, uh, nice maltiness. Uh, hints of dark fruit, dates, raisin, plums, figs. Uh, decent beer as far as all the rest of the aspects go other than the bourbon notes. The bourbon notes are not even detectable. Uh, now that's warmed up to room temperature it's about 80 degrees outside uh, and it's pretty close to that temperature now. I've been stepping on it close to an hour. Uh, very nice slicing. Alcohol is well hidden but no bourbon notes. So with that being said, let's do the final chug on this one. Very, very pleasant. Other than the bourbon notes, guys, it's uh, it's an excellent beer. Uh, I wouldn't think I would want to sell this beer very long, since that's what I have here is not getting the bourbon notes to me. Uh, other than that, now that they're dating their stuff, you know when it was put in the bottle now, uh, this one is so old it does not have that information. Uh, so if you've got one of these, you might want to drink it fairly fresh. Uh, if you're getting the bourbon notes on it fresh, like I did back in October, uh, I thought it was a pretty tasty beer then. Uh, I still think it's a tasty beer, but the bourbon notes have not 
survived. If, okay, I'm not sure I'm going to put that. Uh, the Bourbon notes are not there. It's uh, basically non-existent on this beer now that's been selling for eight to ten years. So, let's drink it fresh, guys, if you're going to drink this one. Because uh, the, the Bourbon notes, if you get them fresh, uh, they're not going to be there. Uh, they don't sell her well on this one. So, with that being said, I do think it's a well-made beer. And I'm grading it for what it is. And it was an older beer. They didn't have the date on it. They do date them now, but they didn't date it at this time when this one was purchased. Uh, it's an A beer, but I'm going to give it a 90. 90 for me on this one because the bourbon notes are not there anymore. Uh, and a little disappointed on that, too, because this is a very tasty beer. Uh, 90 for me, guys. Uh, just barely into the A category. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. They have this beer at 4.3 in their outstanding range. It's very good. I don't know if I'd go to outstanding on this. Uh, barely into the A category. Uh, and over to Untapped for the final check-in. They say it's 4.14, but also they're, both of these guys are grading it uh, for the new beer. And this is not a 12.7, it's an 11.9. So uh, I'm a little reserved on both of those grades being an older beer that it is. So, if you've had one of these recently in the big 22 ounce bomber version, uh, it doesn't have a date on it. This one doesn't anyway. Whether they did that and still continue to do the bomber series before they went to the smaller bottles, I'm not sure. So, uh, I would not purchase one of these if you happen to find one and didn't have a date on it in the big 22 ounce bomber. Uh, the bourbon notes are not going to be there. Now, if you don't like the bourbon notes, you're probably going to love this beer. Now, all the rest of the aspects are there. Very tasty. But, no bourbon. It is what it is. Alright, guys. Uh, if you've had one of these big bombers that doesn't have a date on it uh, recently, let me know what you think. The newer ones that do have a date on them, they're probably going to be a little better, a little tastier, a little bit more bourbon notes than the one I have here. So, if you have, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.